Hi everyone, my name is Kate and today we're gonna crochet peony roses and lily of the valley bouquet. It's pretty simple to crochet, this bouquet is great egg-friendly substitute for fresh flowers which eventually need to be thrown away. But this bouquet will please you for a long time. Valentine's Day is coming up and this is a great idea for a gift. So if you want to receive such a bouquet as a gift, send this video to the person you want to receive it from, because this tutorial is beginner friendly and it's pretty easy to make. So subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So we will need yarn in any color that you like. I will use pink, white and green. Take not too thick and not too thin yarn, I use light worsted decay size of yarn in 100 grams to 135 meters. I use from Hobby Kind Feather, it's acrylic yarn. Hook I use 6 millimeters, but take that one that recommended on the yarn label. Plastic needle, wire, take not too thick, because you have to fold it with your own hands. Scissors and optional wrapping paper, or I use baking paper, and ribbon. We're gonna start from roses, so take the yarn in your hand like this, put the hook on the tension between your finger, pull it down and turn it like this. Then grab the yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook. Tighten the first loop. Then grab the yarn again and pull it through the loop on the hook. So we need to chain like this 40 air loops. You can count the loops by these braids. The one on the hook doesn't count. I've done my chain. Next, yarn over like this and insert the hook into the fourth loop from the hook. The one on the hook doesn't count. Grab the yarn, pull it out. You have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, crochet first two loops, then two more. Next, make chain of four. One, two, three and four. Yarn over and insert the hook into the same loop and make double crochet again. Grab the yarn, you have three loops on the hook, crochet first two loops, then two more. Yarn over again, skip four loops at the bottom and insert the hook into the fourth loop. Grab the yarn and make double crochet again. Chain 4. Yarn over again. Insert the hook into the same loop and make double crochet again. Yarn over. Skip 4 loops at the bottom and insert the hook into the fourth. Make double crochet. Then chain of 4. Yarn over again and insert the hook into the same loop and make double crochet again. We've got arches like this and keep crocheting with the same pattern until the end of the chain. I'm making the last arch in the last loop At all we should have 10 arches. Next step, chain 2 and turn your work. Yarn over, insert the hook into the arch and make 3 double crochet. It's the first one, the second one and the third one. Then chain 2, 1, 2, yarn over and make 3 double crochet in the same arch again. Then insert the hook into the little arch, grab the yarn, you have two loops on the hook and crochet these two loops. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the next big arch and make three double crochet into this arch. Chain 2, 1, 2, yarn over and into the same arch make three double crochet again. Then insert the hook into the little arch, grab the yarn and crochet two loops on the hook. And we've got the petals like this, so keep crocheting with the same pattern until the end. Chain 3 
At the end you should have this little arch and make one single crochet into it. Chain 1, leave a longer tip and then cut the yarn. Pull out the loop with a hook. And then start rolling the rows where the short end is. It's most convenient to wrap the rows by holding the lower arches. Put the rows with petals facing down, take a needle and with a long end sew the whole row several times from different sides. Then bring the thread to the short one, tie a few knots and hide two threads into the rows. And then cut the ends. Straighten the petals and our rose is ready. Crochet as many as you want. I made 11 roses for my bouquet. Let's start with Lily of the Wally. Take a green yarn and make magic ring like this. Take this connection with your thumb and insert the hook into the ring. Grab the yarn. Then take this loop with your fingers like this and place the ring into your left hand more convenient like this. You can adjust the size of the ring and we should crochet with this tip. So chain 1, insert the hook into the ring, grab the yarn, you have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn again and crochet two loops. It's a single crochet, we need to make five single crochet into the ring. It's fourth and the last one, fifth. Take the end of the yarn and tighten your ring. Insert the hook into the first upper braid like this, it's our first single crochet, and make a slip stitch. Crochet first loop into the second one like this. Chain 1, yarn over, insert the hook right under the chain. Grab the yarn, then crochet 2 loops, then 2 more. Chain 1, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and make a double crochet again. Chain 1, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and make double crochet again. Chain 1, make double crochet again. So at all we need to have 5 double crochets. Then insert the hook above the double crochet, the first double crochet and make slip stitch. Wrap the yarn and crochet first loop into the second one. Chain 1 and you can cut the yarn. Turn it inside out and with a needle hide one end through the stitches. Then insert the hook into this free space. Grab white yarn. Pull it out and crochet one loop on the hook and then crochet with these two tips. Yarn over, insert the hook into this free space, grab the yarn, pull it out, then yarn over again, insert the hook into free space, grab the yarn, pull it out, then again yarn over, insert the hook into free space, grab the yarn, pull it out. Then grab the yarn and crochet all loops on the hook like this. And then crochet one loop on the hook. It was puff stitch. Then yarn over again, insert the hook into the next free space, pull it out, then yarn over again, pull it out, and the last one yarn over, pull it out. Crochet all loops on the hook together and crochet one loop on the hook. Repeat three times more into the next free spaces.
as I crochet it with ends, I can cut the yarn, then make slip stitch into the first braid of this row. The first loop into the second one. Then insert the hook into the loop right above the puff stitch and make a single crochet. Crochet two loops on the hook. Then yarn over and into the same loop make double crochet and into the same loop make single crochet again. Then insert the hook into the next loop right above the puff stitch and repeat the same pattern. Single crochet, then double crochet and single crochet into the same place. Repeat like this until the end. At the end make slip stitch into the first stitch. Chain 1 and you can cut the yarn. With needle hide all the ends. And this is what we've got. And let's crochet little flower of Lily of the Valley. It's super easy. Make magic ring again. Grab this loop, chain one, and make five puff stitches into this ring. Tighten your ring and make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Chain 1, cut the yarn and with a needle hide all the ends. For my bouquet I made 5 sprigs, 3 flowers on each sprig. For the roses, I fold the wire in half, about 20 cm long. For the lily of the valley, I leave the wire unbent and cut small rods for the two flowers. I thread the wire through the base of the rose. Then bend it and twist it. At the bottom I bend the ends too. Take the green yarn, make a knot and wrap the whole road with it. At the end I make a knot too, then I use a needle to thread the end and cut the yarn. And this is what we made. For the lily I put the end through its base and bend the Y in the same way. Here it's best to wrap the small flowers first and then the big stem. I don't wrap the main flower completely, if you have started to wrap the main flower like I did, find the other end of the yarn in the middle of the skein and wrap the other flower with it. I use the yarn to attach the flowers to the main stem and at the end I make a knot like on the roses and cut the yarn.
To wrap the bouquet we'll need two pieces of paper. I crumple it to make it more interesting. Play them like this. Then I carefully arrange in the flowers. You can of course put only roses, but I think with Lily of the Valley it looks more fresh. Be sure to straighten in the roses again. I fold the paper from the bottom and then from the sides. You can tie it with ribbon, I tie it with yarn and then attach the bow on the double tape. And once again correct all flowers. And this is such a beautiful and tender bouquet turns out. You look at it and it smells like spring. I'm sure you did it well. If you have any questions, ask in the comments, put a like if you like this bouquet. Be sure to make it to your loved one, for friend, mother, grandmother, girlfriend, to everyone. They're sure to love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to my Instagram and see you in the next video. Bye kitties!